Good morning, everybody, and welcome to week six of Business Ethics. Everyone's having a great week so far and had a good time with their family this weekend. Um, in week six, we're going to look at chapter four, which is moral analysis and ethical duty. So when we look at this, I have a, I have a little picture here to really kind of show kind of what we're looking at in this. We have business ethics, which is a social obligation for businesses, but also the obligation to employees, customers, suppliers, and competitors versus social responsibility which is a little bit different, under the umbrella of business ethics, but focuses more narrowly on a company's social obligations. So we're going to take a little, look at this a little bit this week, and it's going to be one of those things where uh, we're going to definitely try to challenge each other a little bit. Uh, one thing that I'll probably change up this week, if possible, is see if you guys can get your discussion board post in by Wednesday so that we can all kind of comment on things. I know that uh, most people are doing those on Saturday or Sunday, and it makes it a little bit harder for me to comment on those. So if you can do that, so we can have more discussion, that's great. Uh, I'm not changing any of the due dates on that. So if you don't, for some reason, I'm not going to penalize you. Uh, but wanted to throw that out there. That would be a good opportunity for us to all discuss things. Uh, because I know that I'm ending up discussing with like one or two people, and then all of a sudden I have like everybody else participating after I'm done working on stuff. So, and Saturday and Sunday tend to be a little bit busier for myself as well. But, just wanted to mention that, just in case. Uh, we have the video here, which is Moral Analysis and Ethical Duties, which I have for you guys. We have the discussion board post right here, which is required this week. And then again, we have case study number three. So I have the links for case studies in each of the last two, well, actually last three weeks. And you guys have those three done, need to be done before the end of the semester. So what that means is that you have entirely in time, you know, in any time between the start of the class and the end of the class to actually have that. Uh, but it's one of those things where I definitely would space those out if I was you. But I understand that some people won't, and some people work better under pressure. I don't, and it's one of those things that I kind of want to recommend that you do not either, but it's all good. You can do that if you like. Um, those three questions, those three case studies, you can do those from any chapters. You can also, as long as you answer the questions, you're fine. There's not a page requirement. Um, but yeah, look at the grading on this. It looks like you fully answered the scenarios. Hopefully you answer the fully scenarios on that. If not, then I'll take off there. And you have to have good grammar and logic in that as well. So that's kind of what we're looking at this week and kind of looking at uh, moving forward. Uh, if you guys have any questions, need anything from me, feel free to reach out. Thanks and have a great day.